Good morning. It's Friday, October 18th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, The Making of a Good Servant, and our scripture is 2 Timothy, chapter 2. Paul writes to Timothy, Work hard so you can present yourself to God and receive His approval. Be a good worker, one who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly explains the word of truth. Avoid worthless, foolish talk that only leads to more godless behavior. This kind of talk spreads like cancer, as in the case of Hymenaeus and Philetus. They have left the path of truth, claiming that the resurrection of the dead has already occurred. In this way, they've turned some people away from the faith. But God's truth stands firm like a foundation stone with this inscription, The Lord knows those who are His. And all who belong to the Lord must turn away from evil. In a wealthy home, some utensils are made of gold and silver, and some are made of wood and clay. The expensive utensils are used for special occasions, and the cheap ones are for everyday use. If you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable use. Your life will be clean, and you'll be ready for the Master to use you for every good work. Run from anything that stimulates youthful lusts. Instead, pursue righteous living, faithfulness, love, and peace. Enjoy the companionship of those who call on the Lord with pure hearts. Although I have many quote-unquote favorite passages of Scripture, all of God's Word interests, instructs, and corrects me. But if there's one verse that could be my life verse, or the theme of what my passion is about, it would be what Paul wrote about being God's approved workman, correctly explaining the Word of Truth. Paul said to the Philippian believers, I don't claim to have achieved perfection in every doctrine or complete knowledge, but I am pressing on in that direction. If there's one thing I am passionate about, it's sharing God's word accurately with an aim to help anyone know God better. This passage is Paul's instructions for his young protege, Timothy, on issues related to his ordination vows. Paul had laid hands on Timothy and charged him with being pastor to a flock of God's people. Timothy may have felt a little awkward because he was probably younger than 90% of the church members. It's hard to be authoritative and fatherly to a group who were adults when you were still having your diapers changed. Nevertheless, Paul instructed the young servant of God about what would make him a fit and holy vessel or tool in God's workshop. Chief among the required activities for any pastor is meditating on the Word. Without careful, prayerful consideration of what God says, it matters little what the preacher says or does. Any private that rushes into battle without heeding the commands of the general is like a heat-seeking missile launched without coordinates for the target. You may stay busy, but you'll cause a lot of damage in the doing. Well, along with taking in God's word, there's plenty of admonition from Paul the elder to Timothy the rookie to taking out the things of the world, including idle discussions that go nowhere, only bearing the fruit of contention and any other kind of impure behavior. If there's to be holy ministry in the name of our Lord, there must be holy living. And now here's the sticky point about all of this. We're all servants of the Most High. We're all ordained or set aside to be servants of the kingdom. These instructions to Timothy apply to every believer, whether preacher, teacher, steelworker, homemaker, student, dentist, lawyer, or retired senior. Whether you're able-bodied or bedridden, male or female, new Christian or walking with Christ for 70 years, if we have breath, we must serve. For you today, on his way to the cross on Friday, Thursday night, Jesus was girded with a towel in the upper room, washing dirty feet. That is the model of the one we long to have others see in us. So, are you still breathing? Serve. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.